Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your fireside reading for October 20th through the 31st. Your rune this week is the rune of new beginnings. We have mahogany obsidian. Protective, repels negativity, especially negative people. It's grounding, removes energy blockages, and helps you reclaim your power. Now, I believe that you have gotten that specific stone several weeks in a row. And that's, it's a really good, really protective stone. Turquoise, communication, problem solving, and speaking your truth. So you need to speak up. Then we have Kyanite, the teacher. How to dig deep for the truth and cuts through fears and blockages. Your stone people card is bear medicine, solitude and healing. And I believe you've had quite a few bears in your reading, so you need to pay attention to that. Wolf is your spirit animal, a team player, working for the team, not for yourself. Oh, and you got the raindrop, which means plenty. That's awesome. Okay, we have the sweat lodge and purification, removing any negativity from around you, from within you. Physically, mentally, spiritually. Ah, the great teacher. Learn from those spiritual experiences. Sister Moon says, hold your vision. That means that you are on the right track. Keep doing what you're doing. And then we have, ah, oh, darn it, Fox Spirit, think on your feet. That means there will be a, a disruption this week. Ooh, and we have Rites of Passage, change. Something is going to change. We have the Shield Maiden, make plans and focus. So you already have in your mind that you want to make a change. So you need to sit down and make a list and make, literally make those plans and focus on them. Sister Moon says that conclusions are within reach. Oh, and Moth Spirit says surrender now. Surrender the need for control. Know that there is a divine plan and divine timing and go with that flow. We have the medicine bundle, allies and support. So you have allies and support in this new plan. Ah, oh, the guardian angel, you are not alone. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. If you're making all these plans and you're just 100% focused on the practical part, you need to not forget the spiritual part. Let that be part of your plan. And Bobcat Spirit, life is a mystery. You don't need all the answers. That's kind of another go with the flow card. Now we're, our uh, new beginnings here, we're going to put that on the change card. Then we have our mahogany obsidian, which is just so protective. I'm going to put that one on your guardian angel. You are not alone. Communication, turquoise, very much about communication. I'm going to put that on the woof 
The wolf is asking you to be a team player. And the kyanite, the teacher, which cuts through our fears and blockages. And um, how to dig deep for the truth. Let's put that one. I'm going to put that one on learn from spiritual experiences. I'm picking up a real thread here of spirituality that has been in some ways neglected because uh, there has had to be so many practical things that needed to be done. But they go hand in hand, and one is just as important as the other. Okay, your quote this week is, May the spirit of peace gently enfold you in its wings and bring healing to your heart and soul. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Peace, love, and light. Until next time.